welcome back everyone welcome back to HP quick test professional how to videos in today's class I'm going to show you how we can extract web links from a website and store them in an excel file and to do this I'm going to use uh, any application any website uh, which is taken as an input from the user when the script runs which you'll see shortly I've used descriptive programming ordinal identifiers and concepts of how we write data into an excel file if you want a complete training package uh, and want to join one of my training courses feel free to contact me at uh, the details that you see in the screen right now all right so here is the brief script that i generated uh, to serve this purpose before we look at the script let's look at the excel sheet this is a simple excel sheet which is blank right now the name is link underscore extract 2 dot xls in here QTP is going to go fetch the links, all the web links from any given web page, put the names of the links and the URL out here. So why is this needed? As part of your testing uh, or regression testing or functional testing of any application, it might be critical to see if there are any broken links. So once you are capturing uh, the link URLs from any given page, you can then navigate to those websites to see if they are landing in the correct expected page or is it giving you a 404 page not found kind of an error so how did we do that using QTP so here is the code that you look at and this was the code that I generated in one of the training uh, batches so what we did is we started off with uh, saying uh, where the Excel is located what is the sheet name of that Excel file and we are taking as a user input what the URL will be where you want to capture the links from then we open up the Internet Explorer we navigate to that website and now starts the real code of how we use a different logic to find the links so the logic that I'm using is that I use descriptive programming to identify that the HTML tag property value for those objects that QTP can recognize is a and I will then use the ordinal identifier index to identify the first link to the last identifier link in that web page. Then as a default I said that since I'll only have one browser open at that given time, uh, any browser with a given title, any page with a given title and this is a dot star is a regular expression referring to that. Then lines 21, 22, 23 are basically invoking uh, our Excel applications through QTP, opening a specific Excel sheet and Excel document rather, and then pointing to an Excel sheet in that document. After we have done this, then we go into the logic of a do while loop. So what does this do while loop do? It goes to that page which I've described earlier and then it searches for all the objects of type link with the description matching whatever we've given in line 15 16 and 17 and sees if there if there's a link which is existing so the first time it will capture the first link and see if it's present if it is present then qtp will go ahead uh, set the index value to i which will get incremented the next time will capture the link URL using get arrow property for that link which we found was existing. We will also capture the text which will be the name. Once we have done this and I have my sheet as an object pointing to that Excel sheet whichever we have specified earlier in the code then I'm going to simply go ahead and say in this starting from the second row in that Excel sheet start putting in information since I will start with zero as a default value as you see in line 15. We will put the name in the first column and the URL in the second column. Before the loop, uh, it starts to loop back to line 25. We increment i so that we go to the next element. We continue to do this exercise till we reach, uh, no, till we have finished all the links that are there in that web page. And the key here is the ordinal identifier index. So each time we increment, and that number index is used from 0 to whatever number uh, is present in that web page. Finally, uh, we print saying that how many rows did we generate. Uh, we close our browser, we save our uh, active workbook, we close and we set all the objects that we have defined and uh, release the memory file. So let's go ahead and see how this will work. I'm going to close that Excel file 
and uh, do a debug run. When I do a debug run, the advantage for me is that I can walk you through the code uh, at least till that point. Rather, let me put a breakpoint on line 25 and run the code till there. Once you see a couple of iterations, then we know how it is done. So let's take twitter.com. And I just noticed that twitter.com uh, was giving uh, error. I don't know if it will come up right now. Of overload. There you go. Twitter is over capacity. So at this point, we must have hit our breakpoint that we kept in the code. There you go. Now let's uh, hit run. So it will do the iteration for the first and it will come back to the second. So each time you have to continue while QTP captures those links and puts them in the Excel file. The reason you don't see the Excel file being uh, updated parallelly is I have not set the visible status for that Excel object uh, to true. So let's go ahead, take the breakpoint off and let the test complete. So once the test is completed, you will see a print message saying what, how many rows have we generated, how many links did we capture and then we can go back, open the Excel file and see the result. So done for 12 rows. Now I'm going to open that Excel file that is stored in my folder, link extract 2. There you go. So now these are the links that got captured from twitter.com each link is specifying uh, the name and the URL. We can further enhance this to capture all the links from a given web domain in the sense twitter.com. All the links that are possibly present in that web page which could be very extensive. Uh, all we have to do is now repeat that step, uh, that test for these URLs. Instead of user generated uh, as an input when the test runs, we will reuse that action and we can give input from this excel and for each then we can capture what links are present in that web page and continue this exercise thank you so much for taking your time to look at this short uh, video on qtp and what we can do uh, to further enhance uh, the test and i hope it was uh, helpful for you uh, take care bye for now